All right, well, we turn out to the weather and kind of a roller coaster's on the way for us, apparently. Yeah, you're right. Ups and downs mm -hmm. and all around. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> yeah. That's it. That's it's your been forecast. like that for the last few weeks. It has pretty been. Much I mean, this has been January and February around yeah. here where we get this yeah. burst of warmth. Everyone's thinking spring and then all of a sudden, you know, winter hits for a day and then it's back to normal again. And I'll tell you, the, the trend is continuing. We're not going to stay cold for long as this cold air really isn't lasting very long this winter so far. So uh, that's going to be the case tomorrow. We'll kind of bring the system in, get it out of here, bring cold air back in here by Friday, and then we're out of it again. But boy, what a windmaker today. Wind gusts over 60 at times in spots. Uh, we were at 59 officially at Fairport Harbor. Ditto that in Cleveland. Parma checking in, 54 mile per hour wind gusts today. Akron got all the way down to Worcester. We had winds gusting over 45 at times. The winds have really backed off this evening as high pressure is now in firm control of our forecasts. For tonight, temperatures are backing off as well. We're in the 40s, still some 50s out there. Very mild evening. Keep in mind, average highs still upper 30s this time of year. So this is way above where our average highs are. And that wind, look at this, going calm in Dover. When just hours ago, we had 45 mile per hour wind gusts. Unbelievable how quickly this pattern's changing. Tomorrow, it's going to change like that once again. Your forecast preview looks like this. We'll be clouding up in the morning. Morning rush hour looks good. I don't see any precip falling. It will be on the cooler side, 30s and 40s. And then by evening, we'll have some rain and rumbles around here, then turning colder. But look at this, 30s in the north, 50s down towards the south. If you're expecting a mild day in Cleveland tomorrow, not going to be the case. It's going to be raw with rain and wind. You get further south, that's where we're talking some warmth. The reason why this frontal boundary is going to sag right across northeast Ohio this evening. Here's the frontal boundary that we're watching, that cold front down towards Texas. As that low gets going, it's going to continue to ramp up much like the last one did, and it'll bring us not just that rain, but the threat of severe weather. Right now, we've got severe weather in Oklahoma. All the heavy snow will stay off towards the north and the west of us. They're expecting anywhere from 6 to 12 inches of snow as you get in areas of northern Illinois, stretching back towards the Kansas area. But this is a concern tomorrow as that severe weather threat shifts further east into northeast Ohio. Get used to this map. This is what happens this time of year. You get true winter-like air masses mixing with spring air masses. This is the new addition to the forecast over the last month or so is the fact that we're really starting to warm things up down south. So that plays a role in the forecast. In terms of us, why 30s north? Why 50s south? Well, this low is going to pass right through us, right up the I-71 corridor. And as it does with that north wind wrapping into it, it's going to keep this cold air kind of pulled into our northern communities. Meanwhile, the warmth gets up into the Akron area and then further down to the south. I'll show you what I mean. Let's walk through it. National Design Mart hour by hour forecast. Lots to unpack tomorrow, but nothing tomorrow morning. Clouds will continue to increase. Here comes the rain as we go into the 8, 9, 10 o'clock hour, overspreading us from the southwest. Everybody gets rain tomorrow morning. Everybody stays cool. We'll be in the 30s to 40s tomorrow morning across northeast Ohio. That's the warm front. Once we get beyond the lunch hour, we'll be talking that difference in temperatures as the warm air gets pulled up. Notice the 50s down towards the south. We stay in the 40s in the north. And sorry, Sandusky, 36, probably all the better we're going to do tomorrow. More waves of rain will likely come through in our northern communities. Meanwhile, we continue to warm down to the south. And notice the latest model run, bringing the warmth to Cleveland. Not sure if I buy that right now. We're going to keep us just in the 40s there. We'll continue to watch this, but tomorrow afternoon and evening is where our severe weather threat is as we warm things up and then we bring that cold air in. So we're talking 7, 8, even 9 o'clock tomorrow is when we're expecting these storms to develop along the cold front and push from west to east. It doesn't scream severe weather to me in terms of setup. I'm not too impressed with it. But the thing we're contending with is there is a screaming jet stream up above us. And as you get some of these more developed thunderstorms to go up into that, it can bring some of that wind down to the surface. So damaging wind is going to be your primary threat again late tomorrow after dinner time through the evening. And then we're on the cold side. We're in the 20s Friday morning, some lake effect snow. What a difference as we stay in the 20s on Friday. Where do we go from there? This system pulls on out. We get a quick rebound in temps on Saturday. Weekend still looks great at this point. Next week still looks busy at this point. Not just one, but two, and maybe even three storm systems next week. Models still trying to sort out exactly where all these go and where the strength is of them. They don't agree at all, so your forecast accuracy starts to go down by Tuesday. So we'll keep that in mind. But as we go through the weekend, lots of sunshine. Union Home Mortgage 10-day forecast. Yeah, we turn a little bit cooler, but nothing winter-like over the next 10 days.